from the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel. This is your weather update. Good morning again and thanks for stopping by Tennessee Valley Weather. I'm Ben Luna in the Weather Center where at least it's a little cool right now in here, but as we head toward the heat of the day, everybody's going to be needing to fan because we've got a scorcher coming again for today. There's a small saving grace though. I'll explain that. We'll start with our uh, hometown forecast for you. 101 today's high with a mostly sunny sky in Columbia. The same in Mount Pleasant. 100 in Savannah. Lawrenceburg's going to set at 98. 99 in Pulaski and Waynesboro and around 99 in downtown Lewisburg this afternoon. Here's a look at the Shoals. Not too much difference. Maybe a degree or two. 102 there in Florence. 101 in the Shoals. Around 100 in Decatur and Athens. 99 in Russellville. The folks in Phil Campbell really must have a nice air conditioner because they're always a little cooler than everyone else there at around 97 today. 95 actually the cooler spot down in Eva, Alabama there in Morgan County. Now as we continue to head through the next few days our temperature trend will go kind of up and down in a couple of ways that maybe not necessarily as good as you think. What we've got right now is drier heat. We've got drier air in place and even though 100 to 101 and 102 today and tomorrow, that's still dangerous. Don't get me wrong. The feeling of that could actually be worse if we had more moisture in the atmosphere. That's where you'll start to uh, contend with those higher heat index values. Now, if you look at the trend here for the next few days, the air temperature goes down slightly. They're 96 for the high looking ahead into Friday, 94 on Saturday. But in turn, you're going to see a near 8 to 10 degree heat index jump because during this time frame, we've got moisture returning to the area, which could provide us with a few spotty showers. So that's something to keep in mind as we go through at least the weekend. Now looking ahead into next week, I think those numbers will start to stabilize a little bit and actually go down as we move on into say around this time next week. I will be back with more on your local forecast right here on the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel.